So this video is about what I call my speed lip sync system, or put in simple terms, how to animate lip sync, that is to say dialogue, in a big fat hurry. Um, and um, the reason I've got this here is I think that lip sync is one of these areas where it is possible to um, get over concerned about the detail. And actually, uh, we can take quite a simple approach to animating lip sync, which will get us 70 to 80 percent of where we need to be. Um, and I learned how to do this on uh, Marmaduke um, and to some degree on also on Beverly Hills Chihuahua. I've done an awful lot of uh, talking dog movies, <laughs> maybe too many. <laughs> but anyway, it was very good at um, uh, teaching me uh, how to do lip sync and also how to do it really, really fast. Because by the end of the film, we'd run out of money and time um, and we just needed to get everything done in a big hurry. Um, so the answer to the question, why would you want to animate lip sync in a hurry, is because you're often having to make very tight deadlines as an animator. Um, and, you know, that's just how it is. You just have to get on with it. You just have to do it quickly. Um, and so here's the basic recipe. What you want to avoid doing is, is, is to animate every vowel and consonant in the line of dialogue. We just don't have time for this, even if that were a good approach, which it usually isn't. We just don't have time. So what we need is a nice, simple approach. And so what I'm going to suggest is, is, is this. And the most important thing, uh, and the place you start, is to time out the main open and shut positions on the, on the jaw control. Typically, that's the Z rotation or Z rotation on the jaw control. And what you want is nice, snappy timing on the jaw control. And basically, what you're doing is um, you are opening the mouth on the vowels and you're closing it on the consonants. So um, uh, if the character is talking, uh, you know, you're, uh, all the consonants are closed mouth positions, M's, B's, P's, that kind of thing, and all your vowels, A, E, I, O, U, are all open positions. And as long as you get that right, and as long as you get the timing of the open and shut positions looking good, and as long as it's all in sync, you kind of don't need to do that much more. And if you if you think about an example, um, uh, if you look at the Muppets, all they really have to do, if you think of Kermit the Frog, Kermit the Frog, all they're doing is opening the mouths on the vowels and closing them on the consonants. And it, it's most simple. That is what good lip sync is about. Now, once you've done that, um, you want to start layering in uh, your wide mouth shapes, especially your E shapes. If you say E now, You'll, you'll find that that's a wide mouth shape. Um, uh, and then, so once you've found your wide mouth shapes, you then go to your narrow mouth shapes, uh, your, especially your oohs. Oohs, uh, U shapes, uh, W, w, w shapes, those are all narrow mouth shapes. So you're gonna, you've got your wide mouth shapes and your narrow mouth shapes. Wide versus narrow. And that's going to give your lip sync a lot of texture. Because you've got the open and shuts, now you've got the wide and the narrow. Now that you've done that, now you want to make sure that your main consonants are working well. And especially M's, B's and P's. These are your most important consonants and you want to keep them closed for at least two frames. Even if you feel like you don't have time, you've got to find the time. M's, B's and P's should be closed for at least two frames. If it's only closed for one frame, it won't read properly and it won't work. Other important com consonants are F's which uh, you often want to see a bit of uh, F, F and V, you want to see a bit of teeth, upper teeth. V, if you say F, F, F or V, you'll see it kind of, kind of biting your lower lip. And th, the th shape, you're going to see some teeth on that. And also an L shape, uh, l, 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 it touches the roof of your mouth. So those are your main, most important consonants. Once you've done that, you're going to make sure that all your vowel shapes are working. Uh, and once you've done that, you're kind of done. Uh, that's pretty much it. And, and on um, uh, Marmaduke um, and uh, Underdog and Beverly Hills Chihuahua, I was doing 10 shots a day uh, towards the end when we were really up to speed using, um, using this method. Um, and uh, it was uh, pretty effective. And we got the job done. So that's a speed lip sync system. Uh, bear in mind that the real effort in animation goes into your body language, your acting poses, your main acting choices. Lip sync is something that you don't need to spend as much time on and it sometimes looks better if it's done simply rather than uh, with too much complexity.